good. Okay, so the format for this class is going to be half an hour at the beginning for uh, a warm-up and a game, kind of see where everybody's at, um, get everybody into the flow, and we'll have a middle kind of teaching segment where we work on either drills or games, depending on what I see happening that day, what I think the issue of the day is. Uh, and then the final half hour we're going to do, we'll play probably two games in that final half hour, trying to implement the things that we were working on. That's going to be the format of the class. This class, 355, is all about something very, very simple but uh, and something fundamental, uh, but extremely important. So we understand that the ball needs to be, or sorry, let me, let me, let me address that in a different way. The three hardest things to play against are players that are hitting the ball deep, players that are hitting the ball low, and players that are hitting the ball hard. That doesn't mean every shot has to be hard, but when you get a hard ball hit at you, it's harder to control, right? Um, so when the opportunity comes to hit a hard ball, the ball has to be hit hard. So that's what we're going to work on, deep, low, hard, and we're also going to cover our angles. That's the other thing that makes a team difficult to play against is covering the angles. Now, you guys are all good at deep, low, and hard. Right? Of course, we can always get better at it. We can continue to work on that. Um, we're not as good at covering our angles. And if you go back and watch the video from the game that we just played, you'll see that people are getting planted. They're coming to the center. They're getting planted in the center. right? And they're leaning to get stuff rather than moving to cover. So what I want to work on initially is a drill that's going to help with that, or should help with that. So let's... Uh, I don't think I need to demonstrate this. I'm going to get Angela and Susan here. Oh, let's do it this way. Flip around. Get uh, Norma. Norma. And George. Norma. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Karen and Maura. Your last name is Norman? No, your husband's name is Norman. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I see in my brain associated with you. Maura and Karen on this side. Angela and Susan on this side. Okay. So you guys are going to be at the blue line. You guys are going to be at the baseline. Don't back up just yet, because I'm still talking. Okay? Um, you guys are going to be just hitting nice, easy balls to them, to either sideline. So in the court, but out near the sideline, probably somewhere around white line depth. That means that they're going to have to come over and hit the ball back to you, and then you're going to hit it to the other. You might hit it back to this side. I, I don't want very many balls in the center. I mostly want them kind of out near the side. Okay, so if the ball is hit to the sideline here, these guys are going to move over with the ball. You guys are going to move over to cover. If the ball goes back to the other side, they're going to move with the ball. You guys are going to move over to cover. So you guys are going to stay forward. You guys are going to stay back. It's going to be just a nice, easy drill where we're getting into the flow of moving to cover. Right? So that, that's all we're doing. Sorry? Just hit nice, nice, easy drives back to them. And they're going to give you nice, easy volleys. This is not a strokes drill. This is not a pace drill. This is a movement drill. So we just want to keep the ball in play. And where is the ball? Here we go. All right, you can start with a serve. Nice, easy serve. Yeah, anywhere. Just serve it to Angela. Yeah, good. All right, continue. Just pick it up and reserve it and continue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So uh, what, what this team needs to remember is when you hit it out to the sideline, you're going to come over and cover this line. This player is then responsible for covering the center and for covering that line. So positionally, they're going to they're gonna cover the center. But if the ball is hit over there, they are the, the, obviously they're going to be the one that goes for that line. So then when they move over, this player will come over with them. Right? So what I want to avoid is the, for this team here, for this player or either, either player, to hit the ball to the sideline and just stand there and watch it. If you're going to hit it to the sideline, then you've got to shade over and cover. You don't have to come all the way over the line, but you have to shade over. Right? That's what we're trying to do here. So 
I want to see some visible shading. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, hang on. Let's make it a little bit easier. So you guys will hit to the white line. You guys are going to be already inside the court, not at the baseline. Okay. So it's just going to be nice and easy. You guys are going to try and put every ball in the white line. Just for the purposes of this drill, just take everything back to the center kind of thing. We're not, you, you guys aren't going for a line. They're going for the boundaries. You guys are staying in. Good, we got something going there. That was awesome. First day in a new, doing a new drill is always tough. Hole in one. Excellent movement, you two. Great movement. Yeah. Stuff goes a couple inches out of the line. We don't care. We're just working on a movement drill, so. New, new drill. Perfect placement, good movement. Okay, let's change roles. So you guys are going to back up. You guys are going to be the baseline team. You guys are going to be the blue line team. Exactly. Yeah, try. Try to stay behind the white line. The main thing I'm going for here is for this team to volley and follow, right? If you're going to volley to the sideline, you need to volley and follow. If you're going to volley over there, you got to volley and follow. You guys can change up every once in a while if you want. <laughs> okay, more I got planted. You got a little bit planted. Okay. 
and uh, you were you were good in that you were hitting it, kept it to that side, but you really creeped in and really crowded your partner. So be careful about that. If she's, you can layer a little bit if you want. Um, either way, layering is never a bad thing, especially when the ball's out on the sideline like that. Um, you got to kind of keep an eye on your partner. If she gets, if her feet get, if her stance gets too wide, she's going to get planted. If she gets planted, it's really tough for you to get too close to her because now that's going to happen in the middle right there, right? So that ball coming from where it was to here was her ball, yes. right? But you stuck your paddle out because you guys are so close together, everything stopped. It is so nice to be able to do this drill at this level with these four players. This is awesome. All right. So you had a beautiful volley over that sideline, and neither one of you moved. You both stood there. So that, that's what we're working on, volley and follow. So volley and follow. What's that? We're not worried about too high right now. We're... At too high is it? Stop for one sec. Too high is actually okay right now because too high will give us a soft ball. We really want to focus on the movement. If the ball gets too low and too hard, the game gets the drill gets going too fast, so we don't have time to think. If we keep the balls high right now, loopy, arky, slow, then we have time to adjust and think about our movement. Yeah, white line. We're going to the white line. Oops, sorry. Job. Double bounce is fine. White line, white line, white line, not baseline. Your your overhead went all the way to the baseline. Huh? Oh. Ah, good. Good rally. <laughs> yeah. We're making progress. Good movement, good movement. You guys stayed paired and didn't get too close. That was awesome. Exactly. Thank you. 
Thank you for not. So remember, ladies, you want to try to stay behind the white line. I know your instinct is to come forward, but try and stay back for this. Okay, one more point, then we're going to switch. All right, let's 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 switch. Okay, so a, a corollary to this um, is our third shot movement. So we have this tendency, the server turner has a tendency to hit a server turn and then run to here, which is the center of the box. Right? We need to remember that if... I'm returning to that sideline, I need to follow the ball, right? So I follow the ball, my partner from their position follows the ball, they should end up, if we're serving up to the sideline, they should end up somewhere around here, and that player should end up somewhere around here, right? So we want to follow the ball on our server turn. If, if it goes to the center, I end up in the center, Right? If it serves to the, you would never serve, well, the third shot could go to this sideline, then you've got to come to here. Right? If I'm serving from this side, or if I'm returning from this side, right? So we're going to work on a drill now for about uh, 13, 14 minutes of uh, follow the third, or sorry, follow the return. So we're going to do a serve and a return, and the return team is going to follow the serve, or the, the return, uh, and uh, then we're going to stop. And so there's going to just going to be two hits, right? We're going to see if the if the server turn team followed, uh, and we're just going to stop and assess did they follow it? Did they do it correctly? Then the other team will serve. We see if they did it correctly, and then we'll then we'll start adding a third shot. Okay. Okay. So your two serving targets, you can choose either one. You, or, sorry, your returning target. Sorry. The returning targets are going to be one, two, or three. So you're either returning wide, returning up the middle, or returning to the sideline. Okay? Good. Yeah, just stop. Stop. Yeah, good. Okay, now Susan can serve. Okay. Okay, so good. Yeah, that, that was good. Hang on one second. Hang on, hang on one second. Like three conversations going on. Okay, we're not going to worry if your serve is long or short right now. If it's a foot out, it doesn't matter. Um, so the, the, the thing that we're working on is your movement, right? To where the return was. Yeah, so the ball was, the return was to the middle. You ran to the correct spot, which was the middle of your box. Okay. Yeah, I came here. Yeah, but you were cheated way over to this side of the box, right? So this is what Angela calls cuddling, right? You're you're cuddling. You're getting close to your partner. You have to remember when a ball is hit to the center that you're giving them the outside one sixth and the outside one sixth that the both of you are covering the center. Right? So we can we can okay, only cover yeah. yeah we can we can only give it two thirds of the court. So when the balls hit to the center, we give up the two outside one sixths. Um, if your stance is really wide here, right, and you're cuddling the center, it makes it difficult to cover this line. Um, but a really wide stance also makes it really hard for you to move your foot to return. So if you get a fast ball up the center, you're now going to be reaching. Yeah, because if your stance is too weak, too 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 wide, you, you're reaching. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead. Play some more. Yeah, pretty good. Ah, oh, there we go. You, there we go. You got it. Where did the ball land? Exactly, but you you came in here, and then you went like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So the, the goal is to be able to cover this line, not the outside line, just that line, with the bent arm. Oh. You don't want to be reaching, right? So. <laughs> Good. So I'm, I'm looking at where you guys are. That return, was it to the center? Okay. So then your position is going to be center, but shaded a little bit over. Okay. Yep. All right. Last turn, and then you guys are going to serve for a while. Okay. So she went to the center. You went over to the left side. Where did the return go? Uh, it's not bad. Then if that's the case, then you need to be a little bit shaded over. Okay? All right. So you guys are going to serve, and they're going to give you a clinic on how to do this. I'll call that an oops. They're going to serve now, Susan. Gonna... Okay, you guys are the returning team now. Nice. Yeah, really nicely done. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Let's catch it. Um, okay, so I don't, I, she should have slid over, yeah, exactly. Center to the center, good, yep. You may be a little far left, or a little far right, but it's okay, you were close. Oh, well, you guys both ended up in the center. Where did the ball land? Landed there? Yeah, so you're way over too far. So you need to follow the ball, right? So follow the ball. She needs to follow the ball, and then you guys would normally end up right about there. Okay. All right, so they're going to hit and follow the ball. I'm just watching how you guys are moving, and by the way you're moving, I think I can see where the ball is landing. So, sure, that would be awesome. Then I can look around and. Step. Good. Yep. All right. So I think everybody understands it. <clears throat> Let's play. We're gonna have a drink of water, and then when we come back, we're gonna play some games and try and implement the, that that follow the ball strategy. Okay.